Hey everybody, so we are jumping straight in. I'm starting out with my hair braided back. Um, either these are braids or twists, it really doesn't matter. But I'm taking my skull dome cap, which protects my hair a little bit, and I'm locking in more moisture. Um, and then I'm going to put on my regular, uh, what is this called, a wig cap. <laughs> Um, you really don't need to do the ball cap method every time, so we're not doing it this time. Just taking some alcohol and cleaning off my forehead before applying the adhesive. And then also taking this Bold Hold Skin Protect um, and applying that to my forehead as well, just so that my skin is protected. If you don't have this specific one, different brands have uh, their own version of a skin protect, so just see what you can find at your local beauty supply store. Let that dry before moving on to the next step. So for this step, we're just going to be placing the wig on our head and cutting off that excess lace around the ear if you have not done that already. Um, just be very, very careful with this step because once you cut off the lace, you can't put it back. So I would say cut less and then if you need to cut more afterwards after you've already glued the wig on. So here I'm just marking up the lace in my forehead just so that way I know where I want to apply the glue once I uh, remove the wig from my head just so that I have a bit of a guideline. So for this install I wanted to go for the Eben uh, Black spray equivalent i guess lace glue um just to try it out and see how it works for me because i have a lot of sensitivities when it comes to certain lace glues so i can't use everything but this one worked out pretty well um but if you want to use a spray or you know bold hold ghost bond you know pick whichever one works best for you and then we're going to section out the lace just so it's easier to work with um, and then I'll be starting with the middle section, applying a couple of layers of the glue in a thin layer, letting it dry until it's tacky, and then applying the next layer. Um, and then we're going to go on and put the lace over it. So once you're satisfied with the placement of the lace, then you want to go ahead and take your comb or whatever tool that you have to just push that lace into that glue. And then you will be able to move on to the next sections. Now when I was wearing this wig, this was just for like a weekend, so I think I only used two layers per section. But depending on how long you want to wear your wig or what adhesive you're using, you may have to use more layers or even less layers if you have like a very, very strong lace glue again because I'm not wearing a bald cap here I'm just trying to be super duper careful and not get any lace glue onto my actual hairline Once you've applied all your layers and the glue is clear and tacky, that's when you want to go ahead and push in the lace. Now, um, I will say that sometimes I like to cut off all the lace before I apply the wig just so that it's easier to not accidentally glue down excess lace that you don't need. So I will say when you're doing this step, make sure you're doing it very carefully when it comes to where you're placing the glue. So you see I'm pulling it down a little bit further so the hairline meets the glue instead of having more lace um, glued down than necessary. So once you have the lace in place, you're going to take an elastic band and put that all around your head and make sure it goes over your ears so that it gets those ear tabs secured down as well and leave it on for maybe about 10 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
After removing the elastic band, you can now cut off the excess lace. Um, make sure you're doing this very carefully. I'm using an eyebrow razor to cut off the additional lace here, um, but you can cut yourself if you're not careful. So just please take your time with this step. This uh, clip is sped up. If you notice any parts aren't stuck down, just tap them down or add more glue underneath so that they can be adhered better. Um, and as you guys can see, like I haven't even done baby hairs or added any um, extra adhesive like spray or anything and the lace is already melting super well. But right here what I'm doing now is separating out a couple of the hairs so I can add these as baby hairs. I'm going to cut them up and shape them. Um, and then I'm just hot combing the rest of the hair back so that it stays out of the way Right now we're going to section out that hair for the baby hairs and then we're going to spray a little bit of the even Red can you can use the black can the blue can I know they have so many um, But whichever spray that you have if it's got to be or bedhead or anything like that You just want to spray the lace again to really secure the hold So after you've sprayed the lace, make sure you tie that lace down straight away. You don't want anything to start moving out of place. So make sure you get your elastic band, tie it down, and leave it on for, I guess it's up to you, but I, I leave it on for about another 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20 at the most. So I pulled the rest of the hair back so I can focus on the baby hairs. I'm just going to tweeze them a little bit more just to make them a little bit thinner and a little bit more natural looking for my liking. Um, you don't have to do the step, but you can. I highly recommend it if the baby hairs are a little bit too thick. So now I'm just going to take them and cut them, make them a little bit shorter. And then we're going to use our mini flat iron to curl them up and then we're going to start uh, shaping them. I was going for very fluffy, very non-traditional baby hairs in terms of like, I, I wanted the swoops, but I didn't want them to be so um, like slick down. So that's why I went in with the gotta be um, 
hairspray instead of any gel just because I, I didn't really want them to be super duper melted I guess um, but to each their own you know do how you do with your baby hairs this was just an experiment sometimes I do gel sometimes I do spray it just depends uh, but this is the look we were going for here I'm just further pushing back the hairline with a little bit of wax stick and a hot comb just to emphasize um, the hairline versus the baby hairs. So this is the final look of the baby hairs. I really like it. It looks really cute and natural to me. Um, and then the last step I'm going to do is go in with my Ruby Kisses and take um, the concealer and put it on the part. You really don't need to use Ruby Kisses. You can use whatever concealer that you have on hand. Um, but that's what I had at the moment. And just emphasizing that part a little bit before we call it done with the install. That wraps up this install, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and getting to this point of the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below if you found this video helpful. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.